In this video, we are going to be looking at the Fiddler Everywhere Traffic Inspector and see how it can be used to capture and inspect network requests and responses from your system. Now this could mean all the requests coming in from your system, be it from the web browser or the applications or any process running in the background. Right now, I have opened the Wikipedia page on my Chrome browser and as you can see, Fiddler Everywhere has captured each and every network request that was sent by my browser to the server as well as the response was returned from the server. Fiddler Everywhere makes it really easy to inspect the network requests. Right in the Live Traffic tab itself, Fiddler Everywhere gives you a couple of insights about the network requests that have been sent and received from the server. For example, you can see the type of content that has been received whether it's an HTML format, JSON, or if it's a CSS or JavaScript. Similarly, you can see the status codes as well as the protocol and the host and the URL of the network request. Other details that you get a quick glimpse at include the method and the body size along with the content type and the process from which the request originated. If you want to inspect the particular request further, all you need to do is click on that request and Fiddler Everywhere will open up the traffic inspectors to your right. In the traffic inspectors, you would see the request inspector at the top and the response inspector at the bottom. The request inspector has a couple of details which are sent to the server along with the network request. Whereas the response inspector contains the data which was received along with the response body. Fiddler Everywhere makes it really simple for you to inspect the requests and the responses using the several different types of inspectors provided. For example, if I wanted to see the HTML response body that this response has written, I can open up the text inspector and I can see the HTML of this particular request. If I click on view full response, I can view the entire HTML body of this particular page. But if you want to make this simpler and you want to see how this would look in a web browser, you can use the web inspector to do that. The web inspector gives you a glimpse of how the web page would load in a browser. Fiddler Everywhere also allows you to inspect image files and JSON using the image inspector which opens up every time you click on a particular image file. Similarly, if there is a JSON response being returned, you can use the JSON inspector to view the entire response within Fiddler Everywhere. 